Hey guys, what is up? Diamond Brooks Productions here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Lego Marvel Thor mech. This retails for $20 in New Zealand, has one figure and pretty nice mech, so let's take a look at it. Here's Thor, and I really like this helmet. I believe this helmet is actually exclusive, and it looks great. Besides the helmet, the rest of the figure comes in stuff like the um, helicarrier, the pff, Avengers base, and the um, Black Panther bike. It doesn't have the cape, but I kind of understand that because it wouldn't really be able to fit in the mech with it. Really like this back torso printing here, and the front torso printing. Would be cool if he had leg printing, but that's just a minor complaint. I like the hammer he has, glad they included that. And um, he does have a second face, so if you don't want him to be using lightning powers, then um, there you go. So, overall, this Thor figure is just great. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the Thor mech, just because of the fact that I don't really think a Norse god would be using a mech. I mean, what is Captain America going to do? Just pull up to, I don't know, a Nazi camp with the Captain America mech and fight them? Yeah, that's pretty unrealistic, and this is also pretty unrealistic, but still... I think that just ignoring the fact that this is unrealistic, I think this actually is kind of a cool mech. Um, so yeah, there's a little spot on his leg to put Mjolnir, but I do like the, um, like how they have these pieces here, which I think are actually exclusive, and I like how the whole back of this vehicle's red, just to make it look more like a cape. The hands look a bit too odd for me, so with the other mechs, um, they use just um, this piece here to put the fingers on, but they use this um, one here that I think was used in the Samurai mech, and I don't know, it just makes the hands look way too big, I mean, like, they used it for the Infinity Gauntlet, which I already think is a bit oversized, so I don't really know, I don't really like the hands, um, but, um, yeah, I, I like how they have stickers across here, although I messed this one up. Um, the other one I did a bit of a better job on, and I like this print here. That looks awesome. Definitely useful outside the setting. And I'm just going to try and align this properly. There is waist articulation, which I forgot to mention with the Mull's mech. And there are stickers here, and the one on the other side is identical. Um, so, yeah. It's pretty easy to take the figure out as well. And the hammer, Mjolnir. Um, I'm just going to remove this so we can get a better look at it. This, I think, just looks great. I mean, I love how they didn't just make this all grey. I like how they actually added some blue to it, just to make it look more electrical, because here's the God of Thunder, after all. And, um, yeah. And there's lots of stickers, like most of the stickers in the set just go into the hammer itself. But, yeah, and also just one more thing is that you can articulate these cape pieces to make it look more like a cape, so... Um, just falling down with gravity like that, and I really like that. You could also, like, have it back a little bit to make it look like it's, like, you know, going in the wind. So, yeah, overall, when I first saw this, um, like, all three of these mechs, I thought, oh my god, these are just gonna be crap. People are only gonna buy these for the figures, and, you know, I might be kinda right, but the thing is, is that I feel like that I only really dislike these Marvel mechs just because they just feel unrealistic to me. And yes, this is unrealistic. Um, he's a Nor like he's a Norse god. He doesn't need a mech. They didn't have mechs in that time or, or that stories and that. I'm not too familiar with Norse stuff, but still, this mech looks cool, and um, I can understand why someone would want to buy this because they th might think it looks cool. Um, so yeah, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.